Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with a new LP. This time it's gonna be Okami for the Wii. Uh, not not the remake that apparently has HD graphics because I don't have that one, but <laughs> I still have my Wii version. So this is what we're gonna do. Man, that starts up really fast. Okay, anyway, we're just gonna jump right in. This game is awesome. If you've never played it, it is a huge epic adventure, and it's beautiful as all get out. We're just we're just gonna go. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of a tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. A warrior, Nagi, or the warrior Nagi, attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white-plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into... The home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt toward Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, 
readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shironui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As Orochi closed in on Shironui, sharpened claws glistened. A gigantic tree sprouted, suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shironui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shironui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike that would be the final blow, but Shironui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his scarred and battled arms, battered arms. He leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome head separated from the owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shironui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. When they reached the village, Shironui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shironui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as in, if into a slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki village. In honor of Shironui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Sukuyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. 100 years had passed since Nagi and Shiranui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Tsukuyomi, the sword that vanished the dreaded Orochi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale.
O oh, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds, speak the words I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Woodsbright, Sakuya. How troublesome! This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. Of doom? What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There's no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time! We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Okami Amaterasu, aka a Wolfie. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. <laughs> yeah. Amaterasu, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. That's a crazy sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon, but never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. It looks pretty bad. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Eh, yeah, what is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh dear. Whew. What on earth? That is one dirty bug. You again. Ow, wow, wow, wow. Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more 
interesting, that's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug? I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Wandering artist Isun. The dirtiest bug around. I'll show you just how great I am and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Oh snap. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's pretty good, man. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, Furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it! You look just like that statue of Shiranui. Rip. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? You crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isun. Don't make me use my prize sword, Denkomaru, against you. Oh snap. Did, did your sword just do that? Whoa, 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 what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god, Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. In your, in your what? Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakya girl sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that if you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. How long did you take a nap, dude? Okay, I don't... I don't think we have the power to do this. But here we are! We're playing! <laughs> there is a lot of dialogue in this game, if I remember right. But... It's okay. It's okay. We can make it. Where are we? We got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the control pad to look around. The two button changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Hmm. Debatable. Look at this. More like in space. With crazy clouds. Water clouds. Yeah, so this game is really Japanese inspired. Lots of Japanese myth and the art style is really heavily inspired by those Japanese paintings and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> and let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way you can always go back if you get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially when you're still learning the ropes. Nuts to that, I only save once. Sometimes. Holy smokes. Wow, I went crazy. <laughs> River of the Heavens. Makes sense. Oh yeah, I forgot I could like bark. Oh man. Who needs powers when you can bark? Okay, let's let's go through here. A 
Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken. If you bust them, there might be something good inside. Swing the Wii remote to bust them with your head. That's very painful. Or I could just miss everything. Miss it all! Way to go, my furry friend. You can do that anytime you see something you can break. Ooh, and I can get money out of it too. Yen? 10 yen, that's like a fraction of a penny. Oh snap. I'm rich! So rich. Look at that cool... Such a cool art style. It's got like that crazy cell shading, but it's like thick brush strokes. Looks so fancy. So fancy! Whoa, whoa, hold on there, furball, get a load of that. The moon? Yeah, that's a pretty cool moon, man. That chest looks mighty tempting. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What if somebody owns that, dude? Let's go check it out. Getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press the A button to jump, then press it again to do a wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. Firmly as in impale your finger through the controller. I knew you could do it! They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss any treasure. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be doing that an awful lot. Actually, yeah, you should worry then. <laughs> oh man, look at all the grass and stuff. Every time you land, it's so cool. Alright, what's in here? A holy bone! Yes. Favorite snack. Oh, snap. Restore three units of solar energy. Wait, solar energy? Am I like Superman? I get my energy from the sun, like a plant. Photosynthesis. Looks like the bridge is out. Well, looks like it's time to go home. It shouldn't be so hard. Um, Matarasu, was it? I don't think he'll ever call me that again. It's kind of long. Mind if I call you Ami? Sure, man. <laughs> Listen, Ami. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brush work, uh, brush work has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It'd take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Oh, oh snap. Look at him go. That's some mighty fine brushwork, my friend. Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. Looks like a bunch of scribbling to me. But we'll call it that. It's one of the many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I practice really hard just to master this one technique. But there are 13! Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but... God or no god, how can anyone have the power to master all 13? Uh... I don't know. But it's gonna happen. Yeah. Good old brushwork. Can I do it yet? No, I can't. Okay. That, that's gonna be a big part of this game, uh, using all those different brush techniques to solve puzzles and fight enemies. Pretty sweet, man. Uh, let's check what's up there. Oh! River of the Heavens. Oh. The River of the Heavens? I mean the fabled Stardust River? I sure don't see anything like that around here. Couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? 
If it is, that's a very misleading sign. I'm going up here, Isun. I'm sorry. I don't know what's up here. <laughs> More pots! Wow, look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look! Are those stars forming a pattern? Or is it just me? Ooh! I didn't see a dragon in there, but... That was pretty sweet. Oh my god! Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Boop! <laughs> wah wah. Bah! Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. I'm sorry, man. I look pretty tough. Press the B button to hold the brush, and then A button to draw. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. <laughs> no problem, man, I got you. Whoa! Yomigami. Oh. Why, if it isn't Mother Amaterasu. I can't pronounce anything, right? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. Is he holding, like, colored orbs? Or just or his palms smoking? I can't tell. <laughs> I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed, the heavens, and renew the flow of stardust. I'll do it! Wow, that was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good as with a brush as yours truly. Nah, couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Well, hate to break it to you, bro. But it's me. So wait, was Amaterasu the god that they were talking about that split into 13 brush techniques? Or, maybe not. River of the Heavens. Wonder if drawing some stardust would get the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you could pull that off, uh, pull off a stunt like that. I disagree! And what's so different about this, man? Restoro Patronum! Whoa! A river of stardust. So this really must be the river of heavens. Of the heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew that darn thing? Uh, did you not just see? I did it exactly like you did, man. Sploosh, sploosh. Water in the air. <laughs> uh oh. I didn't draw the whole thing. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. That's pretty freaky. It's made of stardust. I wonder if Gino's in there. Gino! We did it, guys. Holy smokes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You just gonna ignore that treasure chest? I didn't even see it until you just showed me. You'll end up in the poorhouse if you overlook stuff like that. Where, where was that? 
Oh my god, what? How? How did I even? An astral pouch? Good for storing... Uh... Astrals. Look what you found, Furball! This astral pouch here is amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Uh, yeah, food. That's what I meant. And when it's full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Okay. So it's like a stomach. I'm walking around with a stomach right now. A very, very fancy stomach. Food? There's some. You consumed apple? Hey, I didn't consume it. My pouch did. Nectar filled sour apple. Fills astral pouch a little bit. Sweet! And a peach. Juicy and fragrant peach. A little bit. Give me all the food. And an orange. I don't think it's gonna do these pop-ups every time. <laughs> orange with sharp citrus taste. Thank you. Can you imagine if that popped up every time you had to eat a food in this game? It would drive people mad. Oh wow, this constellation dragon stays there. I mean, god of rejuvenation. Well, well, this is looking mighty fancy. This area is so cool. Look how, look at this, it's so beautiful! Man, oh man. I haven't played this in a very long time. <laughs> uh, I just broke the Trojan horse over there, I guess. Oh my god, look at it, look at it! So gorgeous. Gorgeous! You gorgeous! Fountain of Nagi. Nagi? What's his name doing here? Um. I don't know. That's a mighty, mighty fine fountain, though. This looks so important, I don't even know what's going on. Ooh, dumplings! Doughy balls made from grain. Sound pretty delicious. Wouldn't mind having some of those right now, actually. Uh, should we be going in this? I'm gonna get impaled. Is this... Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of a Nagi. The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanished evil... Uh, banished evil 100 years ago with the help of White Wolf Shiranui. First the river of the heavens and now this place? Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See, that sword's in really bad shape. The gods sure didn't do much to protect this place. Hey, they tried, man. They tried, you know. Gods don't have a whole lot of ability to control things other than nature. <laughs> Doesn't his broken sword there bug you? I mean, there must be something we could do. Don't worry, I'll draw it in. <coughs> oh, perfect. Oh, flawless. Beautiful. I really was your brushwork all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? I don't know. A super wolf? Another constellation. This one looks like a... Uh, that, that thing. Exactly. Whoa. 
Well, 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 if it isn't Mother Amaterasu. How did you swing that enormous sword and actually pull that out of your scabbard like that? That's crazy. Tachigami. It's been a long time. But with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to an ancient uh, to ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword as it was designed to conquer evil. Hey, that was the god Tachigami. Master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute. If you're getting all these powers, then you're just like that Shiranui. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi? When Shiranui died, the wolf's power was split into the 13 brush gods. Oh yeah, there you go. My, my question was answered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Shiranui and Nagi? It's just like the legend. Well anyway, I've never seen the power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that boulder over there? Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a, str a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. You don't believe I can draw a single line? Come on, man. O ye of little faith. Oh, snap. I was either a paper mache bowler or I am a god. I didn't think you had it, had it in you, furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. Sorry, man. Hey, Furball. Er, I mean, Amaterasu. Hey, he said my name again. I've made up my mind. If you're Shiranui Reborn, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Uh... Yikes. Okay. Lucky you! <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Saki was talking about. The fruit? Let's go back and give it a shot. I'll give it a slash. Whoa. Oh, it's an arrow. It's like, what in the world is that? Time to slice everything. Oh my god. So nice to be able to do such things. Oh. Now there is a super ability. Can we like, go down there? I don't know if I've ever actually gone down there. Can I? Nope. There's Nagi. Wow. Pretty fancy statue, man. How come my statue wasn't cool like that? Whoops. I may have chopped down a tree on accident. Let's not tell the gods. Uh oh. What the? Where'd they come from? Ah, uh, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Oh, yeah. That thing. <laughs> Swing the Wii Remote to use its power against them. Look at me! Once you caught them off guard and turned them black and white, they're easy prey for your brush no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. Double prizes. An ink bottle. Bottle full of ink. Fills one of my ink pots. Fantastic. We did it! Wow, that was really fast. I'm not very good at combat in this game, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how I do. <laughs> it has been a very long time since I played this, so we're gonna have to learn everything all over again. That's totally cool with me, though. Wow, this big ol' arrows. Really alarming. Oh! Die, demon! 
think there's a way, like, as they're dying, you can... You can do things to them and get special items, right? Aha! Yeah, demon fangs. So yeah, that I think that's called like a floral finisher or something. And every enemy has some special way to defeat them while they're slowly dying. And if you do the right brush stroke, you get these demon fangs. Fang forged in demonic hatred, beautiful and deadly. Uh, and a radish, of course. Pure white spherical vegetable. <laughs> spherical? A radish? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Hey, you. Nope. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We can do it. We can do it. Ooh. Wait. We can do it. Ooh. Oh, we did it. Whew. Okay. Yeah, that did take a little bit longer than usual. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> We got two demon fangs right off the bat, man! Yeah, those demon fangs you can trade for really nice stuff later. So I'm gonna probably try to collect a lot of those. And probably fail a whole lot at it too. But that's okay, shh, it's okay, shh. <sighs> swim, Emmy, swim! I don't know why, but I feel like I've mispronounced Sakuya's name every single time until just then so let's see if I can maybe not do that again when we talk to her again <laughs> it's like Sakuya from uh, that anime that I totally watched actually that's a pretty common name isn't it uh, I should probably save but it's okay let's just go Sakuya, give me your fruit, please. Wow, the village has been restored. Sakuya came through the big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I could have spent more time uh, in her kimono. Dude, really? If you know what I mean. What, what other meaning could there possibly be? <laughs> but seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. Okay, man. Oh, I tell you, there's nothing more satisfying in this game than seeing an entire area just, like, get all its color and life back. It's really the greatest thing. <laughs> and we're going to do that a whole lot. But anyway, I'm going to end it there, guys. This is a pretty long intro. Um, next time, we'll check out Kamiki Village and uh, see how everybody's doing. Hopefully, they're alive and well. Not dead. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.